No Face Movements, January the 16th, 2012. And we're about to get into an uh, Australian bushfire that causes the uh, Australian Observatory to be shut down for at least two weeks or more. It's one of the biggest in the world, and it's the biggest in Australia. They got a few telescopes there. Uh, thanks for uh, sending this to my attention, Jeans Pretty uh, Pup. Let's get into it. What is strange about this is that this bushfire went all the way up to the hill and stopped at this line. Alright. Um, if you look at the buildings, there's no smog damage, no black, and everything around it. If you can see, it's still all green. You still got green bushes here, green bushes there, green bushes all over the place. Alright, there's one, two, three. They got uh, two more buildings somewhere around here. It's probably over here. But everything around here in front went all the way up to this hill and stopped. Nothing on this side of the hill was burned, but they shut this down for two weeks, folks. Alright, it's one of the most important observatories in the world. It's infrared. It's the biggest one in Australia. It blocks our sighting in the southeastern part of the globe. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on, and it's going to be shut down for two weeks. It might be longer than that. We got a 2012 DA-14 happening. We're going through the central galactic plane to the year 2015 in Orion's uh, solar system. We got planets being discovered. Things, bullets are being fired that uh, astronomers and other scientific people do not understand what's going on. And we got a lot of stuff going on, folks. We got chemtrails, the terraforming of the Earth. And if you can see the observatory, this is on top of the hill where it's cooler. Alright, let's get into the article. And one more thing that's kind of peculiar is that this was the perfect bush fire. Homes lost, but Siding Spring Observatory survives massive bushfire. At least 28 homes have been destroyed and buildings at Australia's world-leading Siding Spring Observatory damaged by a frightening bushfire in northern North Southwest. Fire authorities said the homes in at least one building in the Siding Spring complex were destroyed in the massive bushfire which swept through the Wurrumbungle National Park yesterday. The fire had by today burnt through at least 40,000 hectares and was burning on a perimeter of more than 100 kilometers. Rural Fire Service Deputy Commissioner Rob Rogers said the number of homes destroyed was expected to go up as crews inspected burnt through areas. He said 40 farm sheds had also been lost along with many livestock, much fencing, and farm machinery. There was just absolutely no stopping that fire, Mr. Rogers said. He said the wind shifted to the south at the worst possible time, creating perfect storm conditions for a fire that burnt with such a ferocity we haven't seen in years. However, while the flames yesterday came close to the observatory and severely affected or damaged five of its buildings, none of the valuable telescopes, including the main Anglo-Australian telescope, appear today to have been badly damaged. The Australian National University, which runs Siding Spring, said while there did not seem to be significant damage to the telescopes, the observatory would close for two weeks while staff determined if heat or ash had had any impact on the equipment. Monitoring instruments at the main telescope showed temperatures surging above 100 degrees Celsius at the height of the danger. Siding Spring houses 10 operating telescopes run by Australian, Polish, British, Korean, and U.S. researchers. Administered by ANU's Research School of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Siding Spring is the nation's top optical and infrared observatory and one of the top facilities of its kind in the world. The Mount Stromio Observatory, also run by the ANU, was devastated by the Canberra bushfires of 2003. The ANU said buildings damaged at Siding Spring included the lodge used to accommodate visiting researchers and a number of cottages and sheds. Alright folks, you guys can read the rest of this uh, article at the bottom. I'll have a link. And um, it's just crazy, folks. Even the chief said 
that this is a perfect fire. At the very end of the fire, when they thought they had an upper hand, it became the perfect storm. A mysterious wind came in and blew it and did some strange stuff, burned down houses. And what's weird is that there's a heat wave going on. There ain't no storms. The reason heat waves happen is because there's no wind. All right, when fires happen, there's no wind most of the time. That's the, Otherwise, the heat is going to rise. Otherwise, you're going to get moisture in the air. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't think it's no coincidence that they shut down this observatory for two weeks at least. All right, we got 2012 DA-14 coming around February the 15th. We got a possible, right now as we speak, a super solar flare, more solar flares to come. We got mass UFO sightings that I'm bringing reports. This ain't conspiracy. I got people from all different places around the world, all different languages, don't know each other, seeing the same exact thing. All right, not two different kind of objects, but the same objects. All right, we got we got a lot of information to bring you guys. All right, to all my friends in Australia, to Dan O'Son, be safe, be prepared. Um, to the people around the world, be prepared. Have community outreach groups. All right. So if a disaster happens, you don't do what people do on TV. Panic. The people around you and the community don't panic and start killing each other. That's what they want you to do. That's why they want the whole system is collapsed because they figure people go after each other and kill each other off. Well, the whole system could last if everyone got along. All right, and you could be the first. This is what the movement's all about. Thanks for bringing this to my attention, Jeans Pretty Pup. We got a lot more information to get into. Please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, on Critterbox, on Godlike Production. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And this is only part one of what's really going on with the observatories around the world. We're going to see if there's any other. and we're, I'm going to come back later on this week to give you more in-depth research. And we're going to close this case down. This is the movement, moving the movement to next time, facing off.